everyone, and welcome back to probably the final episode of today because I'm getting kind of sick of hearing my new alarm sound. It really kind of scares me. I don't know if it scares you guys because I haven't gotten the feedback yet, but I'm pretty sure it scares you guys too. Or at the very least, you're like, oh my goodness, I hate the end of the videos of James's now. It kind of scares me. So, anyways, we are continuing off with our good Castilian Let's Play. Well, we have just, as I've said before, we just basically defeated the Moors in a very, well, not really com climatic would be the word, just very, very brief and brisk campaign. I mean, it wasn't even, like, close how badly we defeated them. It was just like, okay, we're in, and then they died. Just died. I mean, it wasn't even a competition. They just died. So, on the plus side, though, we're thinking severely hard about, you know, Transferring, transferring to go and go to war with Aragon because I'm pretty mad at Aragon right now. They're not only trying to support rebels, but they're trying to really, they're really, really trying to make me mad. And for the most part, it's actually working because I am getting pretty angry. And on a side note, I'm getting pretty angry at England too because they are like trying to support my one cardinal I like. Go support your own cardinal. Like, honestly, this gotta be. Oh my goodness, how did Austria get two cardinals? Is no one gonna go after them? Seriously, I'm just like a lonely Castile just trying to get one cardinal in this world. Give me a break. As if. Okay, so we got some more diplomatic tech. We now can build some marketplaces to give us better stock. I'm not... I'll build docks, but I've never been keen on marketplaces. They just... Ooze bad voodoo? I... I... I, I, I don't know how to describe it except for the fact that I just don't like to build them. So let's just, you know, try to build some of these things. And I think I'm going to have to stop building for a little bit because I think my money is actually starting to go down. Wow, that's a new revelation. I really want to put one on you so badly. Um, I could probably take you on by myself too. I mean, you don't really have an army. Not even with Naples could you have an army. I just need to negotiate with you and what would, what would I even take? That's a good question. I'm thinking about going to war, but what I even take in this? Like, hmm. Let's see. If I was to do the militaristically unite all of, you know, Castilian land, which is, uh, pay for. Uh, yeah, we could do this. I want religious cessoir. Uh, we could do that. I don't really. We could lose 35% of those things. I'm not really caring about them right now. But gain prestige, let's see, if we do this conquesting wise, we need Barcelona, uh, Aragon, Barcelona, Aragon, that means I'm going to have to get like all these regions if I was to do that. We discovered an agent of someone, probably Morocco, and Valencia. So yeah, I basically, the basic way I'd have to do it if I wanted to conquest them was take these four provinces right here. Which are actually all my culture, so it wouldn't really be that hard. Just take these four provinces, and then we would... They're at war with someone. Aust Ooh. Austria. You know, if Austria moves some troops down to here, then I might actually do that. You know what? I want to support your independence. Can I support your independence? Like... Like, seriously? I think I support your... If a country accepts an offer of support, it will come to the aid when they declare independence. Hmm. You know, if you could declare your independence at any point, I would totally join in. Because apparently, it would be very, very, uh, fair if I was to support, Na wait, Naples support independence. Would you, would this count as a diplomatic relation, though? That's the only thing I'm kind of... Uh, they could embargo me all they want. I just have to embargo them back. Okay, so let's see. Is that kind of relation? That counts as a relation. Dang it. Okay. You know, Castile, I really like you in a very bad sense. Just let's let's break our relation. It's really not. You, we both know this isn't working out. You hate me and I hate you. So let's just accept that and let's move on from here. Because it's just it's, there's just, there's just no point in trying to gain an alliance with them, guys. If some of you guys are thinking, maybe you should have kept it, maybe you should do that, well, there's no point. They're just always going to hate us, no matter what we do, no matter how much we try to diplo improve them. They're just going to hate us no matter what. So let's just, like, rip the band-aid off and just destroy them. I have, like, six armies that are literally right there that could destroy all of them. Um, uh, but before we do that, let me just make sure that they're, 
armies, the navy size isn't really big. Aragon, 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 Aragon. 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 They have 13 galleys and 9 transports. And total they have 30. That's only because of the naval force limit. Okay, never mind. That's nothing. And half of their army is over here in no man's land, so I wouldn't really help them out very much. Um, they're still at war with Austria, so that'd be really good. Let's see, we have our ships over here. If we were to just, like, put these troops right here, they would take a while to get their troops over here to our land, which then we could easily go in and go destroy them. Yeah, let's do this. Bye bye. And yes, there is sometimes I do short sighted decisions, but I'm pretty sure this is not short sighted. Um, we got a good general, got a bad general. Just everyone go dogpile onto them. I, I'm pretty sure they will not have enough. Okay. Stay. No, you stay. No, you stay. You stay. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be. Can I beat them? Yes, I can. There we go. And now I got my good army down there. Okay. And, yeah, they're not going to... I'm pretty sure if they try to get any of their forces over here... Ooh, Nebulae, they actually have a decent-sized army. Okay, um, how's my ships? Let's get my one bar... Let me just get my one bar inside my army. Don't you dare lose. Castile, don't you dare. Don't you dare lose. Thank you. Okay, everyone go chase after that army. Just to make sure it all dies. That's all I'm gonna make sure it all does. Okay, everyone just chase after it. We're going to kill this army. Before anything happens, we're gonna kill this army. There we go. Okay, now we can just relax and go and go carpet siege. Cause they have no other army around me. And since France is my ally, they'll know I'll know when people are coming after me. Okay, got 17 soldiers. Just blockade the port right here. I mean, I have no other colonies, so I know they're not going to be able to attack that. So, just blockade like this. And if they do come after me, we're just going to have to be really quick with our army to make sure they don't do anything. Okay, let's start carpet sieging. Rapid carpet siege. I should... Okay, let's get all you guys. Okay, and one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, back. I just had a quick little lunch break, and now I'm back inside the set this episode and we're gonna go conquer more more Castile I converted these guys who's are let's see achieve religious unity become Italian ambition Italian is rich for the taking hmm you know I've never thought of taking over Italy that has never crossed my mind before now is it a goal I actually want to achieve no not really it's not really high up on there on things I actually want to do. Um, nah. Doesn't really seem like any of these goals really fit me right now. Let's build more docks. Cause I like docks. Docks help you build faster ships, which gives you faster stuff, and eventually just becomes an overall good thing. So, let's just go right here. Let's go send our good army to go destroy these guys. Yeah. Yeah, you, you thought you you thought you were gonna be clever, didn't you? You thought you could just like sneak past my army. Didn't quite happen, did it? Yeah, you just cornered yourself in a <laughs> Does that only realize what it just did? It just cornered itself in its own capital. What? Yeah, you guys aren't really escaping anyway, even if you try, so just give it up. And there we go. All of Barcelona underneath my control. Well, I should say not all of it, but just most of the stuff I actually do need. All underneath my control. And in this war, what I'm thinking I'm going to get is all of this. That way, if we do have a next war, uh, I just have to do a little bit more warring. And apparently this needs just about a little bit more men. So, let's get some mercs up in this house. Get like two mercs. That should be enough to go siege down that. And now we just wait until all these sieges are done. Yeah, and I took over as the leader. Good. I was about to say, I should, because I am, like, the main guy. Okay, there we go. Go to this. Ah, oh, dang it. He just got reinforced. That's unfair. Okay, so, yeah, this guy. England. I'm almost tempted to give you it, but this is my guy. Ha! You giving up, England? Because I'm not giving up either. 
We could fight this guy for tooth and nail for years and years to come. But I'm not, I'm not giving up. I'm stubborn. I will not give up. Okay, so we got first siege done. Go to the next siege. Let's go to Barcelona. Okay, and we need to start improving relationships with people so that they don't hate us. Um, most likely I'll start improving relationships with Austria because they're pretty good friends. Ottomans I don't really care about, and Russia might be a good alliance in the future. So let's think about that. Let's continue though. So our great friends of Aragon are falling now because they wanted to be jerks and they wanted to be, uh, frankly unfriendly to us. So we just, mm, frankly, have to be unfriendly to them. I mean, I, I don't like to be a big jerk. It's not necessarily my style. It's just you wanted to be the person that wants to be the uh, person that wants to be the jerk. So I'm just playing your role to the utmost. Oh, shoot. No, stay right there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, keep everyone on the shores. And you need money? Yes, thank you. And they have 12, 12 more men right here. That really does stink. They have like eight men in total right there, yet they can't go and save their own stuff. So I'm just blocking them. It's, it's so sad for because it's so sad for Aragon because they know they could probably beat me if they had full their full army there, but I took advantage of the weakness and capitalized on it. Let's start war with um with uh people. No, they're only at war with me. So this even makes it worse. The fact I'm not the one they're at war with, and they can't really do much about it because I'm just gonna. Give them political. How many political crises are in our land? Seriously, is this like the United States of A? Oh, gosh. Like, okay, on the side note, we're gonna start annexing our. I don't think we can actually. We're at war time. Yeah, but once we can, uh, we can stop the Muscovy one. Because Muscovy's really far away, so we could probably stop him. But. Yeah, we can start getting our diplomat back, start getting all these annex, siege of Aragon over, go right here, siege of that, it's over. Okay, then all you guys go right here. Okay. And we got 66% of Aragon's land. Let's see if that will give us what we want. So, Aragon. Well, actually, we do need just a diplomat back so we can get good diplomacy. Okay, give it away. There we go. You guys should be wanting to, to admit defeat. And just remember, oh, by the way, uh, you guys are going to be our rival now. So, your country, rival. There we go. So now that they're our rival, we get a little bit more bonus to taking stuff. And it's actually Verona. Valencia is their capital, really? Hmm. I thought it was going to be something different. So let's see, what do I need to form, to form the mighty nation of Spain militaristically? Because apparently that's what I think I'm going for right now. Own Barcelona, own Aragon, own Totolito, I own all that, so really it's just this and this. This is what I would need to own to to gain militaristically. That means it only take me one more war to do everything. So this, this, and this. Ooh. They're, they're requiring a lot for Barcelona. Uh See, the thing is, though, is that we could easily finish them off next time. Hmm. See, they would accept that. How much is Barcelona worth? Oh my goodness, that is a great tax deductor. Um, alright. Well, let's just siege down the rest of this. I mean, th they're eventually going to lose, because I have their capital, and they eventually have everything. But, just, hmm. Barcelona... To the administration. Let's get 10 prestige. Seriously, we need some of this. We need some of this prestige, man. Like, some of the prestige. Okay, let's see. Is the army still trapped over here? Yeah, it is. They're probably going to frantically at some point come after me, but they're not going to come after me anytime soon. So, yeah. We're just going to siege down the last little bit of land over here. Which is taking an awful long time. Like, let's just scoop up all of our men. Maybe that will help. Organizing will become a little bit better, but let's do that. Let's see. Will that help, like, conquer this? Come on. Take down the last fort. <sighs> Walls are breached and everything, and yet these guys are holding out. Man. Defenders desert. 
Yeah, 672 men are just right there. Come on, guys. Give up. Thank you. My goodness. You guys are stubborn. Okay. Well, what we could do this war is do something less, I guess? Um... I guess we could take Aragon, Pignol, and... Yeah, so we could just... Maybe we could just take Barcelona. And then just call it a day. Release nations of Sardinia and Sicily. Hmm. We probably release Sardinia. Annual treaties. Yeah, annual no treaty with Switzerland. No, actually, I want your trade power. You don't give me that either. Okay. Just take Barcelona this... I guess just take Barcelona this time, and then next time we actually take a little bit more. Oh, my. Uh, this doesn't actually affect that many people. It just affects France. And Aragon. And those are two people I don't really care about. So, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. You don't have to transfer trade power. It's pretty stupid of me to ask. So, yeah, we're just going to take Barcelona from you guys. And as much money as you guys can give me. There we go. And since it's already technically a cord mine, because it's already had my culture and everything, we just got free dip. Okay, we, guess we just got free land, basically, people. Now let's take our army this way. That way they do not get conquered or destroyed. You guys can now go back to uh, doing your nice, lovely shippo building. Well, not shippo building. Patrolling around here. So we took, we took away the power they had in this region. Like... I'm pretty sure we own a good majority of this region. By the way, how much do we own of this region? Probably not very much, because we have a little bit smaller share. We still own a lot. Okay, so let's see. Let's get back to patro patrolling the area of our capital trade node. And let's see, is there any good missions right now? Our manpower needs to recover. Continue the Le Conquista. Mission to seize on the following Tangiers. Continue the Le Conquista. 10 army tradition. But I have to own Calcutta. I have to own Tangiers, Oran. I have to use Tangiers, Medlella, and Oran. That would finish the Conquista. Uh, I think I should just let my manpower recover. but that's much easier than what they're suggesting. Because that would be like two or three wars right there. And I don't really want to make Muslims mad yet. That's not my goal in this campaign. Okay, and England, you want an alliance? Does that benefit me? Uh, ultimately, I think it would. Yeah, we could be friends, England. You and me together, baby. Forever, even though we don't like each other when it comes to Cardinals. Yeah, you are not getting my Cardinal. Yeah, I knew you were spying on my Cardinal. You ain't getting my Cardinal. Okay, and... Let's keep building some armories to help our manpower wake up a little bit quicker. And as we core this, we can just kind of relax gently because we're also going to finish annexing a good old friend of ours, the Navarians. And that way we now have, that will also free up our diplomatic slot for another person. And that way we become the main, well we already were the main power on this Iberian Peninsula, but we become even more of the main power on this Iberian Peninsula. Which makes me so happy. <laughs> makes you feel almost evil too, but that's on a different subject, people. So, let's see. Yeah, we should also be improving relation, relations. We're still improving relationships with Austria, that's good. Uh, papal, let's see, how's the, how are they doing imperial authority? They're doing okay. Seems like most people are still voting for Austria, which is, you know, the status quo. There isn't anything different about that, so that's good. Uh, we are making how much? 710. Wow, with that many advisors, that's actually really nice. That's really nice. And then the Pope has elected somebody to power. Die. Please die, people, so that my Cardinal can take over. He's, he's been in this for a while. He should probably be the next Cardinal. Let's see, you are giving us 0 0.22 a month. Wait, wait. What's this button? At least one of your colonials. Ah, no! Yeah, no! 
Why would I do that? I like I like my colonial subjects. They give me money. Oh, dang it. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys next time.